actually um, wrote, recorded um, the song Fame. Yeah. Lennon worked on that with you. Yes, he did. Yeah. Tell me about that. It came out of a conversation that we had. I, I said, you know, I, I hate this manager that I've got. What can I do about it? You know, how do I get a new manager? And that's just stop right there. No management. You don't need management. I mean, he was the first artist I'd ever met who uh, told me that I didn't need management, that it was not necessary, you know, and, and bless him, forever after that, I, I did get rid of that manager, and I, I virtually managed myself my entire life. I've had business advisors and all that, but the idea of management has never crossed my path again since 77-ish. But was that an exciting thing for you, to work with John Lennon? 75, rather. Um, oh, hell, I mean, he was one of the major influences on my musical life. I mean, I, I just thought he was the very best of, of what could be done with rock and roll. And also ideas, how he was so, I mean, I felt such kin to him in, in, uh, in as much as that he would, he would rifle the av avant-garde and, and look for ideas that were so on the outside, on the periphery of what was the mainstream, and then make them, apply them in a functional manner to something that was considered populist and, and make it work. He would take the most odd idea and make it work for uh, uh, the masses. And I thought that was just so admirable. I mean, that was like making art work for the people and not sort of having it as an elitist, you know, thing. I, there was just so much about him that I admired. He was tremendous, you know.